Howdy friends, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are setting up our tower garden and we got a new toy, which I'm excited to show you. So I'm taking you along for the journey. So our tower garden has actually been off for a little longer than I'd like. Uh, we cleaned it out while well, we took out all the plants and then we just got so busy with the gardens outside and getting everything ready that it's been sitting empty for too long. Um, and Juice Plus just came out with a really cool light, which in our house we need. Um, we did try starting the seeds directly in the tower. And that worked for some things, but not everything. And so now we've got um, a great little light that we're just setting up. My husband's just unpacking it, so I'm gonna turn the camera around. So he's got the- What about jogging pants? <laughs> so who cares? <laughs> they can't see them. They didn't know that until you said that. Um, and so we got a light and a seed mat, which is great because, um, you know, we wanna be able to start seeds really efficiently and well, and, in our family room, this is too bright to have on at night. So having it tucked away in the kitchen here for the short period of time that we'll be using it is perfect. So I'll make sure I include the link for this guy down in the description below. Um, we love our tower garden. If you haven't seen the other videos in the series, I highly recommend it. So our tower garden has 20 spots in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab a piece of paper and we're gonna plan out what seeds we wanna start, map them out and get them going in the trays. Uh, we've learned the hard way that we don't want an entire tower garden filled with lettuce. We just don't need it that much. But we did get some really neat seeds. We got um, cucumber seeds that don't require pollination. Babe, those are out in the pantry. We also found um, a cherry tomato seed that only requires a little bit of shaking to pollinate it. So low maintenance, totally up my family's alley. We love growing kohlrabi. So we're gonna do that as well. And I think we're probably gonna grow a little bit of parsley and maybe some other herbs, definitely basil. I have grown the best basil in my entire life in the tower garden. It doesn't even remotely compare to anything I've ever grown outside. So once we get our list all written up, I'll turn the camera back on and share that with you. And I'll also share the seed starting process and how all that works. So one of the first things you want to do is prep your little seed cubies. I can't remember what they're called. That do you is remember? Technical We're gonna call them seed cubies. We're just gonna go with it. Um, and so what Paul is doing right now is he's cutting them. And then you want to flip them around the other way and actually put fill this, not fill, but just put a bit of water at the bottom. You want them nice and saturated before you plant your seeds in. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to work together to figure out what we want to grow. So whoop, that's the plan, right? Not so much lettuce? No. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you can read my messy writing. We decided we're going to grow three kohlrabi, two basil, one cucumber, I mean, you guys can read, <laughs> one tomato, one parsley, and see how fast we go through it. We might do two in the future. Two kale, two shard, one arugula. Um, I really like the gourmet lettuce blend that comes with the tower garden. So we're gonna grow two of those. I got this stuff, red salad bowl. So we're gonna try one of those and see how it goes. Um, we're gonna do butter crunch. I think times one I forgot to write down bib lettuce we're gonna do one of those and I also bought this coastal star uh, side note this was a super cool activity to learn about the layers of <laughs> the earth's crust and here okay so these are the cucumbers that I purchased they're called Socrates um, and they are parthenogenic which means that they don't require germination but they also don't um, produce seeds. So we have 25 of them. Let's see how it goes. And then this is the tomato that I found, or I think actually Paul found this one. Uh, this is the red robin tomato. And again, you just need to shake them. And I do believe West Coast Seeds actually has a parthenogenic slicer tomato. We didn't know that at the time. 
And so what he's doing over here now is super smart. <laughs> See, he's got the little tab, tab. So we're actually gonna label these so we know what's going in the tower garden because when the little seedlings pop up, it's gonna be impossible to tell. So we're gonna label these with where we planted everything. So that way when we transplant them over into the tower garden, we actually like to use painter's tape underneath to label and that works really well. So that's what we're gonna do. And once we get started with seeds, I'll film that as well. So you can see how all that works, but we have to wait another 10 or 15 minutes or so. It takes about 30 minutes for the water to absorb in through the rock wool. I think it's called rock wool, not, uh, right. not food starting QBs. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer food starting Me too. But the QBs, that makes me think of, oh, is it Star Wars? The Chance QBs? Chance Cube? The Chance, Chance Cube, not QBs. I think he says QB. I have to watch yes, that Yes, Qui-Gon says QBs. No, not him, the weird little flying alien. Chance Cube. I think he's wrong. I'm Nerd gonna... alert! <laughs> Well, we let the fate decide, huh? I just happen to have a chance to kill me here. Okay, so we're still having an argument. My husband says that the cube blends into the here, which is why there's that sound. I hear chance, QB. Let me know in the comments what you hear. <laughs> So we haven't actually washed out the tower yet. Uh, we figured starting the seeds would motivate us to do that. But this is what I'm talking about, about using the painter's tape underneath. Um, and so you can label what's in there. We found this especially helpful in terms of lettuces. So we knew which ones we ate more often, but anywho, pro tip, we really like using this. So what seeds are you starting? Kohlrabi seeds. I love us some kohlrabi. We love kohlrabi. And so, oh, there's the coated. seeds. Yeah, those ones are coated. So you're just going to stick them in your um, rock wool cubes. <laughs> <laughs> and again, and so what Paul's doing now is he's just taking out about an eighth of a teaspoon of vermiculite. You just want to cover it. So you don't want to put too, too much on. And that's it. It's pretty easy. Oh, that's too much. And then you have to... That's way too much. <laughs> He's not listening. And you gotta spray it after too. That's too much. <laughs> Get the camera out of my face. This is why you hardly see him on camera, friends. So what's really nice about the tower garden seeds that you get directly from them is they tell you right on the back exactly how many seeds to put in. So for example, the gourmet lettuce, it says six to ten. Right, so we're planting things like cucumbers and tomatoes, and they don't have those instructions on them. So we usually err on the side of caution. So we just planted one cucumber seed. We did two tomatoes, and we've had success with just starting one kohlrabi. Um, but I, the one thing I do like about those seeds is that there's actual specific information as to how many to plant in each one of your rock wools. So it's really 